using distance time graphs to study piecewise functions, an Algebra 2 application. A piecewise function is a function whose definition changes depending on the input value. Using the gizmo to introduce piecewise functions allows students to move from the graph to verbal descriptions to notation and back again as they establish a deep understanding of the topic. Here's an example of a piecewise function. Notice how the graph displays pieces of three different lines. Begin by having students describe the motion of the runner in each interval. Possible responses are between 0 and 2 seconds, the runner moves forward at a high rate of speed. Between 2 and 3 seconds, <coughs> the runner stays in the same place. Between 3 and 4 seconds, the runner slowly moves backward. Challenge the students to increase the precision of their statements. Between 0 and 2 seconds, the runner moves forward at a rate of 10 meters per second. Between 2 seconds and 3 seconds, the runner stays in the same place or moves at a rate of 0 meters per second. Between 3 and 4 seconds, the runner moves backwards at a rate of 5 meters per second. Students can now write equations for each piece using the second runner to assist them in identifying key information. For instance, if we look at the third piece and follow the pattern of 5 meters per second, we see that runner number 2 is positioned at 35 meters at time 0. Traditional methods work as well. If you know a point on the line and the rate of change, you can use the linear equation y equals mx plus b to solve for b. Students now know when x is between 0 and 2, f of x is equal to 10x. When x is between 2 and 3, f of x is equal to 20. And when x is between 3 and 4, f of x is equal to negative 5x plus 35. Based on these discussions, students are now ready for the complex piecewise notation shown here.